I met King in 2011. He meant to shop to refill perfumes. Sadly, my mom passed on, and of course, it's very expensive to fly. Really, for me, marriage is just too overrated for me. Nilikuwa tu ni grow up kama mtu wa ochatu. My name is Nana Owiti, uh, but really Nana Owiti is not really my real name. My real name is Nini. I was born, of course, in Bere South. A division, I think, in Mwea. Mwea. I'm failing my governor right now and my people. But it's Mwea Division, location is Ria Canal, sub location is Dingine. That's in Uko, in the late 80s, very late 80s. So yeah, I was born in my grandma's, great grandma's hut, <laughs> but yes. My, my mom had me when she was in high school, she was 16 years old, she had to go back to school of course after having me, so I literally grew, grew up with my grandfather and my uncles and aunties, and basically, I grew up just like any other ordinary ocha child. Primary school, I went to Ndingine Primary School and then up until, that's nursery, up to class five. And then I joined ABC Academy, which is a boarding school in Machakos District, uh, Machakos County, uh, for class six to class eight. And then I went to high school, Matungulu Girls. <laughs> that's in Tala. As a child, I like playing with my, grand, my, my grandfather, of course, and going to Malishoni, Kulishangombe. It was so much fun because my, my grandfather would always carry me on his back. And, and of course, I was his favorite because I was the only grandkid then. I was the first one. So I always got the better treatment, Kushindata, Watuto Wake. And I actually had a cow of myself, by myself, Yangutu, for myself. For me, myself, and I, it was called Kailo. It was black. Kailo means black in, in Kamba. It was black with a white patch on the stomach. <laughs> in high school, yes, I played basketball. Yes, and I, I think the most Bali to Leander was districts, but I also did, ma, ma, I was very good in mathematics. So Ningenda Ma Mangu High School to do Zilikos Nitrogen Symposium. What was the name? But yeah, I, I used to attend those. Playing I just did basketball. To high school no. <laughs> I didn't join anything to play. Maybe swimming with my kids. <laughs> Gosh, I've done so many things. I think I was the most confused kid ever because I didn't know what I really wanted. I wanted actually first I knew I knew I was cut to be a pilot, considering my father, Owiti, was a pilot. For Wilson Airport and the later of course and Nini JK of course and he was also teaching was a chief flying instructor on the ground so I really know so much about flying so I thought that is what I'll do around 2007 and then sadly my mom passed on and of course it's very expensive to fly so I had to sort other things to do because I have a baby sister who I was now taking care of considering we are two in the family me and her and now my mom was the last one to pass on so it was just basically me and her so me raising her as a baby myself because I was 19 then I had to do other things so I went to uh, Kenya Poly now it's called Took Technical University of Kenya I did uh, I did so many things, I'll not even lie, and then I went to, what What else did I do? But basically that, and then I went to Vision Institute of Professionals and studied um, CPA and CP, CPA 1 and 2, ISO 2, <laughs> and then Nikachoka, where ISO is Abu, two heads, two head man. Someone told me about the opening for, there's now like a vacancy at Switch, and I was like, ah no, me I can't talk, I always knew I was never cut for you know, an orator. I knew I'm a very good writer actually, but I, I didn't know I could really talk in front of cameras and, and just have masses listen and watch me. Like I was very jittery and very anxious. Like I'm that overthinker, for real, for real. I overthink everything. I blow things out of, my, of, of proportion in my head. So that really, with that, I was like, no, no, no. And then she told me, you just go home and think about it. So I went home and told King that I wanted to 
to try out a vacancy at switch and she, he was like hey ni show ya udaku beb ka ni udaku usifanye <laughs> and then i was like you know what let me just try so at night i went and prayed about it and then i texted the person who told me about the vacancy and i told them you know what me i'm trying so by the time i was going king was not even at home so nikamwambia by the way so and that's how i came here guest hosted for two weeks and later of course I landed on the job. Right, so on my right, we will be having none other but Nana Awiti. My name is Nana Awiti. Mm-hmm. And you know, actually, my real name is Nini. But it's yeah. it's fine. That's a story for yeah, another that's what day. Yeah, we have to. Add. The one was very scary for me. It, it, wow, like this was the last time like for real I was on TV for such a long time and I remember just saying no what do I say and then I was even speaking in such low tones I, I watched my first episode I was like I'm not even going past 10 minutes I was like oh, I can't do this I can't even watch so I haven't really watched all of it but I was like what I was very scared I met King in 2011 at Imenti to let to shop to refill perfumes of course I had seen him on TV as a rabbit so I, I approached I was like hi rabbit what is this hi rabbit I actually udaku yangu tu na kimbelembele ndo ilifanya nikamwongelesha so as any other gentleman I let him do the chasing I threw the ball in his court and we landed here two kids later Mama we knew be this is the thing I haven't been married officially, but I was engaged <laughs> in 2018. Really, for me, marriage is just it's too overrated for me. Not because not because I don't want to do it. I'll do it, but I just it's it's not a priority for me. For me to just be with him and choose him and him he ch- and 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 as also him he chooses me. That's all that I have. Like me, Nikon Sawat Nayo. Two kids later, I was still here. I could not have pressure marriage. But me, first in Akwanga, mostly the customary wedding. Usually, na kwanga scary for me because um, I grew up as, of course, na grandfathangu, and I don't know my real dad, my biological dad. I don't know him. So many many raise is now the witty who married my mom when she, I was in class three. So si juangi mahari na pelekwa wapi. So na kwanga tuzile nizile vitu. I don't want to think about it. So na zipushingi to it's too much pressure. I love going to set. I love working with Kinamikali and Kush and Maina. It, it, it's not, it doesn't feel like work for me. It's like it's a hobby. For me, it's more of a hobby, only that I nalipwa <laughs> to, to do something so fun. So for me, I'll do TV for a long time. I see myself doing TV for a long, for the overall year. Challenging considering now, mostly, I don't, I don't see myself as a celebrity first and foremost because I just joined you know but having a celebrity husband where to kitembea na yeye it's now pressure because now as much as yeah and what attract attention and then it trickle down to me like what is she wearing like it's so much pressure when you think about it so there's definitely pressure um when I said no to the person who told me about switch I came home and I remember just sitting down and thinking okay what am I doing with my life as much as I am handling the family business side of it which is not really that at the, that hard since already I've been doing it I took a break when I had I always take a break when I have my children from work and everything so the first one I took a break the second bunny the second one is actually like is two two and a half is turning three this year in September and I had taken a break so I didn't like nil kwana feel pressure especially from king because king will always come home late of course masana ne uko and then he'll find me sleeping right and then he'll leave around four five in the morning i am sleeping again so the moment he steps out i'm like what am i doing with my life this guy comes in finds me sleeping <laughs> goes and then there's so much pressure and i remember just saying okay what am i doing with my life considering this person is working so hard what am i bringing to the table as me and of course, I felt that pressure. Not not family now. It's now what do you you do exactly. Yes, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for those people who've been with me since Parenthood 101, which I do on Instagram every Monday. 
there are people actually follow me for strictly that. Thank you very much, Asanteni, for loving on my family, for loving on, on the king. Yes, the king. And more is to come, man. I love you guys. Yeah. Bye.